you will be sure to hold DPS troopers accountable? They, so, you, yes, you as in, governor. in a word, yes. But second, there are at least seven who are under investigation as we speak right now, two of whom are on suspension as we speak right now. And so we, I expect DPS officers and law enforcement across the state to follow the Columbine protocol. Governor, the, the, the governor. buck stops on your desk. You blame everyone else. You blame Joe Biden for we other issues. To, we need to move you, on. You, you blame we need to move on on topics you. and actually you are Sally, misleading the state. Sally. Last night, News Nation exclusively aired the Texas debate between Republican Governor Greg Abbott and Democrat Beto O'Rourke. This was their only debate before the November elections. Border security, access to firearms, and abortion were some of the issues the candidates addressed. And of course, these topics not only impact Texas, but it affects the rest of the country as well. On Balance host Leland Vittert was in Texas and gave us in depth analysis of the debate. It was great work yesterday, and he joins us now. Thanks so much for being here, Leland. Good to see you. Pleasure, Natasha. Nice to be with you. You know, so no major gaffes uh, or shouting matches last night. Uh, Beto certainly was the one trailing uh, with a gap to close. What's the feeling among Texans about who came out on top? If you were a Beto fan, uh, you probably thought Beto won. Uh, and you're probably right. If you are one of the 8% more people who planned to, plan to vote for Governor Greg Abbott uh, in the election, because he is plus eight, you probably didn't find any reasons in the debate not to vote for him. If you have to ask who won the debate, there's your answer. It's not yeah. really anybody. Um, this, this wasn't a heavyweight uh, fight. These are more two middleweight boxers, if you will. Uh, although Greg Abbott would probably take exception to that, considering he wants to run for president. And there, this, this round, it went all 10 rounds. Um, and to continue the box analogy, it was, it was, a, a, it was a, dis, a winner by decision, not by knockout. And therefore, you had, uh, you know, Beto by a point or two on the judge's decision. Each one was on the ropes once or twice. But there wasn't any real fatal blows that everyone would go, whoa, well, did you see that? Yeah, yeah. You know, certainly one of the big topics, uh, the crisis at the border. I do want to play some sound on what both candidates think about busing and flying migrants to several cities. Uh, let's listen to that where they were overrun with the number of migrants that Border Patrol had dumped into the, to their tiny little communities. They needed relief, and busing was one of the ways of providing them relief, and thus began the process of, of busing the migrants to cities that self-identified as sanctuary cities. I live on the border. Uh, no one cares more about the security and safety of the border than those who are raising our children there. Yeah, and it's interesting. You could see the live tracker mm -hmm. on the screen there, right? And specifically that green independent line. What do you make about the competing messaging and, and what the lines show us about how it landed with different voting groups? It's an interesting one. And conventional wisdom would tell us that immigration is Greg Abbott's strong point here. Uh, it, it polls nationally as a stronger issue for Republicans by about 31 points. Uh, in Texas, specifically on the Rio Grande Valley, which is where we are, uh, or where we were, I should say, uh, heavily Hispanic area, that's actually starting to turn Republican on the issues of the border. Hispanics are very upset is a, you know, in a more general sense uh, about how the border is being handled. And after the debate, uh, I pushed better O'Rourke with, with this kind of concept of really is being softer on the border as he promises, ending Operation Lone Star, which is the program of having the National Guard and Texas State Troopers on the border is that really going to mean fewer people come through and he kind of chuckled and, and he obviously didn't admit no but admitted effectively that that there wasn't a real reason why less people would come under him i uh, that there's a there is a crossover effect and i think when you saw that in the uh clip right there that the green line did go up on the busing issue because it brought it to the national attention uh, under Beto's answer, this is a this is a real weak point for him, even even among some relatively conservative Democrats. Yeah. If we move to another big topic, abortion, uh, certainly weighing heavy on some voters' minds. How do you think both candidates handled answering questions regarding that issue? You probably have to say that was the worst moment. Certainly, the worst moment for Greg Abbott. He was really on the ropes. Uh, being pushed on uh, his stance in, in uh, uh, abortion uh, laws that would restrict abortion, even in the cases of rape and incest, um, and and basically resorted to saying a woman whose rape's only option is the morning after pill, and then pivoting to saying 
oh, but we really need to talk about all the wonderful services Texas offers uh, if she ends up deciding to carry the baby or is forced to carry the baby. That didn't really go over well, very well uh, with the audience. It was clear he was sort of stammering his way through it. Um, and it was, it was a moment that sort of everybody in the spin room looked at each other and went, eek, this could be a problem uh, for Greg Abbott. And at the same time, Better O'Rourke was on the ropes trying to describe if he would place any restrictions on abortion. Uh, and and he, he wouldn't define any restrictions he would place. So uh, it's a complicated issue for both of them because uh, they, whatever they say that will in any way be found acceptable to the center is totally unacceptable to their base. Leland Vitter, thank you so much uh, for joining us and, and giving that insight and context and that breakdown. Certainly appreciate it and great to see you. You too. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.